I just feel calmer myself and I could because I know I can connect with her mm-hmm. uh, and I'm not worrying as I said I'm not worrying is she okay in there is she growing okay um it's just I just feel much more relaxed for the whole process because I know if I need to I can connect and she can tell me what she needs the only way I can describe it I, is actually just blew my mind because I wasn't expecting to feel <laughs> or for that to happen at all. Um, it's awesome, isn't it, it? It's quite magical. Yeah, it was, it was a surreal moment. And I remember finishing our session and just being like, <laughs> I can't believe what's just happened because it was, um, again, like I said, magical, but very surreal. Um, I don't really know how else to put, well, how else to put it into words. Um, but I, I, I knew I was connected with her. So you had the radiant womb, womb whispering process. Yes. What was the initial connection like? The initial connection? Well, originally it wasn't meant to be talking to baby, but it happened. Um, I had an incident, well, incident, I was meditating in the morning um and I just felt really sick um really dizzy and I sort of parked it came back to it in the evening um and we were doing a session um again more of a meditation session and I felt exactly the same feeling um so we took a moment to kind of do an internal body check um by by the unconscious mind to see where that was coming from um and worked out that it was coming from my stomach (laughs) (laughs) and baby was in fact draining all my energy um so yeah we went in on that um and it was it was it was surreal but a very magical kind of experience because i could feel i was 100 percent connected to her um and i could feel it was her that was sort of draining the energy from me um yeah but yeah it was just a a magical kind of moment to feel that I was connecting with her even at such a early kind of stage as well and how many weeks were you that stage was it nine weeks 13 or 14 weeks yeah so yeah still very early on in the process um but yeah it was just it was just lovely to be able to feel like I was connected with her so this process um the radiant womb process is using energy how do you feel about that and how did you find that kind of style of communication with your baby the only way i can describe it is actually just blew my mind because i wasn't expecting to feel (laughs) or for that to happen at all um it's awesome isn't it it? it's quite magical It was it was a surreal moment, and I remember finishing our session and just being like, <laughs> "I can't believe what's just happened." Because it was um, again, like I said, magical but very surreal. Um, I don't really know how else to put well, how else to put it into words. Um, but I, I I knew I was connected with her because of the energy that I kind of felt at the time. Um, and just being in the moment, I just knew I was connected to her. It was very um, emotional, I remember. It was. It was I, rem- emotional. I remember be, like, had being in the zone, but tears rolling down my face. <laughs> um, obviously, happy tears, um, because, yeah, it was just something I, I wasn't expecting that to happen. It's extraordinary. Um, it's the most extraordinary find that's something that I wasn't expecting to discover through the coaching anyway, because you're having like the aligned life coaching and this is like an offshoot of that, um, that kind of stumbled upon, but you, yeah. um, so the initial connection is what we did, but you were also led to start the dialoguing. Mm-hmm. So did you ask her any questions? Did you get any feedback? I, yeah, I did. I, I, I asked her what I felt she needed from me. And in the moment it was that she needed an energy, which, was almost like a blue light um, and then went into a pink and just felt like it was, she needed a bit more calming energy from me. Now, how did that make sense to you according to your life? (laughs) (laughs) Yeah, well, it totally made sense. Um, Being sort of busy with work and traveling a lot. um, Yeah, yeah, it just sort of, and also being a first time mum, 
it's a worry, you know, you're constantly thinking, oh, is she okay? Or is the baby okay? But we don't get that many scans. So it's <sighs> you're constantly thinking. Um, so yeah, that was, I'm, I'm much more calmer now. I, I'm not thinking, oh, well, is she okay? Um, am I doing things correctly? I just feel like I know she's in there. I know she's safe. Um, but I just gave her some affirmations as well of, I promise I'll look after you. And yeah, just a few little words from uh, from mummy. So, yeah. And um, did you feel like you got any feedback from her specifically that you categorically would say, yeah, that's from her? I'm, you know, did you did you feel like, yeah, that's feedback from baby? Um, I, I think on the calm and energy side, yeah. When I, when I felt like she'd tell me what she needed in terms of the energy, well, I don't see, see the colour that I could see um, and what she needed. And I, I think <laughs> it totally makes sense. They, that, they dialogue in, in the same way that um, I teach you how to do, like kind of guide you how to do it in the aligned life process, which is, which is all the energy ways, and they talk in that way. So it's all colours vibes like intuitive yeah. kind of words it's extraordinary um did yeah. she give you any words or at the, at the time is it just colors so far colors yeah i didn't get any words i gave her words but um what i got for her from her was just the the color the energy and and colors and it changed so i said it went from a blue to more of a pink um i'm guessing that she kind of understood that I, I got the message from her. That's very, very cool. Just like when we work, when you kind of do a transformation, yeah. the, the energy signature changes, so the colour might change. Okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. So since that, since that very, very first one, what happened after that? You did some communication contacts with her. Did you practice it? Did you do any more on your own? Um, I haven't sort of done... I've done it with you, obviously. Yeah. <laughs> uh, I haven't so I haven't done it as as connected as I did when I was deep in the sort of meditation when we were doing it together. Um, and so the only thing I can really say is that I just feel calmer myself, and I could because I know I can connect with her, mm -hmm. um, and I'm not worrying. As I said, I'm not worrying. Is she okay in there? Is she growing okay? Um, <sighs> It's just, I just feel much more relaxed for the whole process because I know if I need to, I can connect and she can tell me what she needs. Yeah, this is awesome. I think this is the best thing is giving you reassurance that you've yeah. got, you've got a whole communication, like telephone line practically that you can go down, you can have a, have a chat and not yeah. just chat, but, <laughs> but see, I mean, the, the, when you're in a really early stage of the process and I kind of worked this process through right the way to birth with, with somebody recently and it was just amazing that how the changes occur. You have full-blown conversations as it kind of happens. It's kind of mind-blowing because you get to know your own inner dialoguing uniquely between yeah. you and baby. And what's going to be fascinating is how you can continue that after birth. I'm wow. wondering telepathically... I'm wondering if it would happen in other ways. I'm just really curious as to see what the bond is going to be like because you're establishing yeah. a new, like a deeper bond of communication, yeah. like now. Yeah. Um, any questions about it? Anything that you want to ask me or or say, or in addition to any of that? No, I'm looking forward to as you say as things progress, as she gets bigger, um, being able to dialogue more with her. Um, and I'm just I'm just excited to see what that change is going to look like how things are going to change and whether I'll get words or whether it'll still just be light or, um, but it's, as I said, I think it's just a magical thing to know that I've already formed this bond with her. Um, so yeah, it's, uh, it's exciting. Would you recommend it to other mothers? 100%, 100%. Why wouldn't you want to feel like you're connected? Mm -hmm. Your unformed one, but uh -huh. yeah. I'm excited to do more work with you on it. Oh, amazing. I'm excited to do it. And and also, you know, the collective power of meditation amplifies the more people there are. So there's a group. I mean, it's amazing when it's an amazing process when you all amplify meditation on the same thing. So like two people, like a couple, you and your partner can do this dialoguing and it'd be really cool to bring him in and do that. But you can amplify all three of you, but also as mothers in a circle. Can you imagine how amazing right. it's going to be when yeah. we can kind of play around with the communication and see what happens and kind yeah. of like amplify them. Yeah, it's it gorgeous. See what other people get as well and how they feel because if, if it's anything like I felt, it, I said yeah. it's a 
It's a mind blowing experience. It's always emotional. From all Very. just from what I've done, it's always been emotional and it's always mm. a bit beautiful and they always love it. And like, thank God, you know, I've got, I feel calmer, more connected. Yeah, it's like a spiritual bond, which is going to grow. Yeah. yeah, I can't wait. Thank you so much, Holly. No problem. Thank you. <laughs> pleasure. Pleasure.